Again, we want to have the best vaccination program in the nation, be the first COVID-free state. Think of all the lives you'll save if you're the first COVID-free state. And think of the business opportunities if you're the first COVID-free state. I said this last week, and President Trump tweeted, uh, New York is now going to be the last on the list to receive the vaccination. You know what that is? It's called a threat. That's called a threat. If you have your own state review, I'm not giving you the vaccine. That's what he's saying. It's a threat. It's also unethical. It's also illegal. He can't use government power to stop distribution of a vaccine to New Yorkers because he is personally upset. Uh, but that's what he said. And what I say is, uh, don't threaten New York. It doesn't work. I know you're mad at us. I know we rejected you. I know you feel that you are a subject of scorn and a joke in New York when you were here. I know the tabloids mocked you. Uh, I know the people in this state overwhelmingly voted against you. But be bigger, be better, remember the oath you took, and try not to threaten, and try not to do anything criminal. That's my advice. But the threats don't work. We know how to handle bullies in New York. We've come across our lot because we are New York tough, smart, united, disciplined, and loving. Questions? Governor, regarding the reopening, uh, in these, we have these clusters in these specific neighborhoods. As of tomorrow, you want to go with indoor dining as well. Is there any potential delaying that, not only specifically in these neighborhoods where the clusters are, but additional shutdowns there, and by extension, the rest of the city? Is the rest of the city not ready for indoor dining, given that we're seeing this uptick? We have, at this point, it's a cluster problem. A cluster problem is caused by lack of compliance. That's how the cluster problem starts, from lack of compliance. Why was there a lack of compliance? Because the local government failed to do its compliance job. Oh, those are harsh words. Yeah. Well, it's a harsh situation that was created. People get sick, people die. And you sat right there, and I said 150 times, local governments are not doing compliance. On the bars, restaurants, we sent in the state police. I said, I don't have a state police to do all the uh, compliance statewide. That's how, the com that's how the cluster happened. And let's be honest, there were pictures of people violating compliance and not wearing masks. We all saw them. They all circulated. Lack of compliance, now you have a cluster. If you do not now control and attack the cluster, you have community spread. We're not there yet. That's why I want people to wake up and attack the cluster. Compliance first. I don't believe we're at the point of uh, rolling back anything. If the local governments do not do the compliance and attack the clusters, you will be there in the short-term future. Because once you're up to 18 percent, 20 percent positive, just think of the exponential equation of that spread as we sit here, right? The day before, we had infection rates up to 30 percent in some of these clusters. One out of three people is infected. All those infected people are out there meeting and talking and uh, going to schools and going to temples and going to churches. The numbers balloon. So now there's a real issue to deal with. But we're not there yet on closing. This could be held to clusters if the local governments respond and respond in a way they haven't done up until now, right? What they have done has not worked, and that's why there's a cluster. 
And look, I get in some areas there's religious sensitivity. Let's be honest. Uh, I get it. But I have no problem, and I've said from day one, I love and respect the Jewish community, the Orthodox community, the Catholic community, uh, the Muslim community. These laws apply to everyone. And these laws are going to be enforced against everyone. Because I love you. Because I love you. That's why I'm enforcing these laws. Because I love you. When we see the infection rate at 20% in some zip codes, that means people are going to die. And because I love you, I want to protect you. And when I didn't do my compliance, that wasn't loving. That wasn't loving. It was weak, it was scared, but it wasn't loving. Governor, you said you're meeting with Orthodox leaders. Is that meeting in person? Are you going to Brooklyn or Rockland County, or are you doing this virtually? I'm doing it virtually because I want to do the entire community. You know, you have Orthodox, well, you have Orthodox leaders all across the state, but the concentration we're talking about, uh, Orange, Rockland, uh, Nassau community, and uh, Brooklyn is the predominant communities. And we're going to do it virtually. You're doing that today. What do you plan on As soon as we can set it up, either this afternoon or tomorrow. But it's a, it's a big community. We're just coming off the holiday, starting another holiday. So as soon as they can get the full community, whether it's today or tomorrow morning, I don't know yet. They were setting it up as they came in. Governor, these new vaccine task forces. Hold on one second, Zach. Go ahead. Governor, earlier today, Mayor DeVolt Bill de Blasio said he was considering restricting gatherings and closing down businesses in, in those impacted areas. Does your office understand that he has the power to limit uh, movement in that kind of a way, or do you need to authorize it? And also, could you clarify what you mean by school closings? Um, the mayor is saying 3%, but I think that just applies to public schools. Is the state still following the 9% regional threshold for school closings? Yeah. This is, the law is the law, and the law is clear. The state has statewide jurisdiction for any public health COVID-related matter, period. State can close schools, state can close businesses, state can uh, open restaurants, close restaurants, etc. The way it works is you have local government, you have state government, and you have federal government. Local governments are under the state. I'm under the federal government, so I have it worse because Donald Trump gets to tell me what to do, which can be incredibly infuriating on a daily basis. And I have a high tolerance for pain, and it can still be incredibly infuriating. Uh, so we have legal authority. The city, no city, can take actions that uh, supersede our jurisdiction. Uh, and they would need our authority or permission to take those actions. That's the first part of the question. So, you just, so you just talked about compliance, compliance, compliance. You want the city government to enforce these issues, but you have to approve it if they want no. to. No. Enforce the current laws. The current law was everybody has to wear a mask. Why didn't you enforce the current mask law? Why didn't you enforce it? By the way, why don't the NYPD wear masks? What signal does that send? Wearing a mask is a law, is the law. But the police officer who's supposed to enforce the law doesn't wear a mask. close down businesses or large gatherings in particular areas within New York City? Yes. But in, compliance was enforcing the existing laws. Everybody was supposed to wear a mask. There was only outdoor dining. Bars were not, uh, were only take out alcohol, not convenings. Religious ceremonies have a cap 
of participants. What's the current number on the cap of participants? 50? For religious gatherings, 50, yeah. 50. You have religious gatherings. You can't have more than 50 people. Look at the pictures of religious gatherings with hundreds. How did it happen? How did it happen? Well, we need more new laws. More new laws? If you're not going to enforce the laws, then creating more of them is not going to help. If you did enforce the current laws, no more than 50 in a religious gathering, everybody wears a mask, the bar laws, the restaurant laws, you will control the infection rate. You know how you know? Because it's controlled all across the state. What happened in these clusters? There wasn't compliance. And the city didn't enforce it. And Orange County didn't enforce it. And Rockland County didn't enforce it. And in those communities in Nassau, Nassau didn't enforce it. 